everyone and I hope you have had a wonderful, wonderful weekend so far. I have to say, oh my goodness gracious me, I'm so, so grateful. Hello, Ellie. <laughs> um, so yeah, honestly, I am so, so grateful for all of the love and the support that you showed me on that very first vlog. And uh, it just, yeah, it just blew my mind, really, really did. So I'm very, very excited to be back with a, another vlog, of course. As promised, every single week, I will be coming to you with vlogs. And so it is Monday morning, currently 5 to 11, which, Ooh, definitely a lot later than I wanted to plan starting this vlog. However, I am on my day off today. Um, it's not usually that I get a four day week. I always do Monday to Friday, but I was I was working overtime at this weekend. So yeah, I, I definitely warrant a day off today. And I, I must have had, like, I must have been in the bath last night for about an hour and a half. I'm not too sure. I didn't even like look at like look at my phone really that much and then I literally wash my face brush my teeth well I brush my teeth then I wash my face and then I went into bed and read a book and I didn't even look at my phone so I'm not even sure what time I went to sleep last night but after working overtime over on the weekend and it was my niece's birthday so that was a kind of a late night as well um, I was just, yeah, needed that sleep, obviously. But the plans for today is I'm gonna finish drinking my coffee and I'm gonna take Ellie on a lovely, lovely long walk. It is a very cloudy, very dark, moody day today, which is probably one of my favorite days to, to be off work. Um, well, one of my favorite days in general, actually. I just love like wrapping up warm, getting cozy, going on a really nice dog walk, the, the wind is really low, it's not raining at the minute. So yeah, one of my favorite, favorite kind of like um, environments. <laughs> and as well, I need to go and do a food shop. Um, and I think I'm gonna go to Aldi this week, but I'm not gonna do a massive food shop just because Simon's at work and he's not with me. And I kind of don't wanna, you know, buy something that he might not want to have this week. So um, yeah, it's just gonna be a little food shop, but well, not a little one, but I don't know, we'll see when we get there. So yeah, I'm gonna do a food haul when I get back and I'm just gonna chill out for the rest of the day, gonna do a bit of cleaning and then I'm gonna pick up the camera again on Friday because I'm planning on doing like a really nice date night for Simon. We haven't had like a, you know, like a just an at home date night for such a long time now. And I definitely think one is overdue. So I'm gonna be working on my full time job Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, sort of like into maybe a little bit into the afternoon. And then I will pick up the camera again on Friday and, you know, bring you along with our at home date night, which, yeah, like I said, is very, very overdue. Good girl. You're a good girl, aren't you? So I am back from the shop now and I actually got some really, really good stuff. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to do a big shop, but kind of I was just like, ooh, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. So I picked it all up um, and I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, I did have a really, really long walk with Ellie. Like, it's now half past one, so it has been quite a couple of hours since I last spoke to you. And it was just such a lovely long walk that was so, so needed. It was kind of like really fine, like rain, like really, really fine. Um, so Ellie got a bit wet and I did as well, but she's been drying off, so it's absolutely fine. And then I went straight to Aldi and Aldi came through this week. Like I was really, really impressed. Um, first thing, I got some shredded iceberg lettuce. I didn't really want like, sh like just iceberg lettuce, but this was the best day. It was like the 14th of January, which is in two, uh, four days, I think. Um, I got some strawberries, a little bit of strawberry. And then some pineapple chunks. Always love some pineapple chunks. Oh, amazing. And then I got some um, purple sprouts and broccoli, which I thought, that looks quite nice. It's like tender stem, but it's got purple, purpley bits at the end of it. So, you know, on this health kick and everything, I got one red pepper, some carrots, then some 
mixed baby plum tomatoes, which are oh, never really used to love tomatoes until I'd say Probably like last, sometime last year, I was like, mm, you know, I'm a big fan of tomatoes, especially in like a sandwich with tuna or oh, the dream. And then I picked up some orange peels, some mushrooms. Oh, and also I actually saw that they were doing, while well, they were selling kombucha and I am loving kombucha like i just absolutely love it so this one is in raspberry and lemon flavor so that is straight in my trolley and then they also had they only had two so i picked up them all and this is a ginger and lemon flavor but yeah really loving kombucha at the minute and then they also had in which was quite new that i've not seen before was these like juice shop things um you know, I've seen these um, by Innocent and by some like other health brands that they're really quite expensive, but I think these were 99p and so I got two of the ginger immune support shots and then one red fruit cider vinegar, which I think will be really, really nice and then turmeric shot is there. So obviously I know like they're not, you know, going to transform your body or anything like that just by that shot, but um, you know, every little help. So as you remember last week, I was saying that me and Simon are, we don't eat meat basically. We haven't eaten meat now for over two years. Um, but because it's vegan, you're right, they kind of like all the supermarkets and shops always like to bring out some new like vegan stuff or vegetarian stuff. Um, and recently Aldi have launched this sandwich, which is a Korean inspired barbecue chicken so yeah that looks really nice um i don't know when i'm gonna have that i might give that to simon actually and then also on the vegan train we have got the two no beef pies which are insanely high in fat and saturates however i've not seen these before so for you know a bit of mashed potato a bit of that purple sprouting broccoli such a home comfort winter dish yeah i'm not a pie in ages actually um and then we've got some no chicken burgers like the kind of like the meat substitute and then i also picked up the barber's mature cheddar and red onion flatbread i think that would be so so lovely with like a pasta dish or like a lasagna something like that so yeah i picked that up i also picked up some salmon because i just oh salmon is one of my favorite favorite dishes like and fish it's just oh, unbelievable i love it and then also which was new i saw these jumbo chunky cod fish fingers and i thought i love a good fish finger sandwich i don't know about you but just on nice like like fresh bread or like sourdough with a bit of mayo oh or tartar sauce whatever floats your boat that is just one of those things in life that i absolutely love so yeah really really looking forward to trying them out and then obviously some corn chicken because you can't have enough corn chicken in the freezer and then lastly to finish off the chilled section and the freezer section we have got these um farmhouse yogurts which are so so nice like they are the best yogurts aldi have produced i think in my personal opinion anyway um but they've got this lemon and curd flavor which i haven't tried before and i am i love lemon and curd flavor so yeah i picked them up and then i also picked up this like running top because right let me tell you a little backstory here i used to run well i used to like like to run anyway so i've done two half marathons a few years ago now and even though i should have trained a little bit more for them I actually really do enjoy running and that's what I always used to like when I used to be at a gym. <laughs> yes, I know, I used to go to a gym. Um, but yeah, that, I always used to like doing cardio more than weights. So um, I do want to like try and get back into running, but probably just do it sort of not in the gym, but outside, outdoors. Picked up some reduced fat coconut milk. Um, I think coconut milk is such like an unsung hero in terms of like making like vegan dishes and like really nice creamy like oh anyway so I also want a sort of like healthy snack again I used to always like snack on nuts and like sultanas and raisins and, and things like that so I picked up a fruit and nut mix which has 
almonds, walnuts, tarnas, and sweetened dried cranberries. So I picked them up, but I also love Brazil nuts as well. So I picked up a packet of Brazil nuts, which I think I like, put it in a little bowl, have a little snack, you know, while I'm pottery and all that, while I'm doing like my job or anything like that. So rather snacking on chocolate, which I wasn't going to go and buy today, but all of the Christmas stuff was on offer, like reduced, like ridiculously reduced. So uh, I did pick up some chocolate. I picked up this cheap, like small selection pack thing. So it had a Cadbury's Curly Whirly, a Cadbury's Fudge, a Cadbury's Chomp, and a Cadbury's Freddo in there. Oh, and Cadbury's Buttons. And this was like 29p. So obviously I could walk past that and not pick it up. And then they also had, for Simon as well, especially for Simon, they had this Moo Free selection box. So this is vegan chocolate. And this was, I'm, I'm sure this was like £2.99 down to 49p or something like that. So picked that up. And then there was these giant chocolate bars, like gigantic chocolate bars, 800 grams. And um, they were reduced from like £5 down to 99p or something like that. I forgot I ordered this. I'll open that in a minute. Um, but yes, what was I talking about? Oh yes, these chocolates, 800 grams, and they were like 99p. So I picked up two of them because um, apparently there's like a golden, a winning ticket. So you can either win 5,000 pound or 10,000 pound um, in there. It's like a, a like a Willy Wonka kind of thing, which is amazing. I don't think there'll be a golden ticket in these two, but. For 99p, I could not walk past those. Oh, also, in terms of Christmas chocolate, these chocolate coins, let me see them there, 9p. 9p for these chocolate coins. I was just like, thank you. And then I also picked up some of these breadsticks that we had when we had camembert the other week, you'll have seen in the very first vlog. But yeah, so I picked up some of those again because I know we've got some hummus in the fridge and these were just blooming wonderful you put them in the oven for 10 minutes and they are just so like crispy and warm and soft and perfect they were perfect for the camembert and i know they'll be perfect for like hummus dips and everything and then we got this to open so i think this is just gonna change the game for me basically but it is a dynamo 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 label maker it's one of those handheld ones where... Yeah, so can you see? It's one of those like handheld ones that print out like that, like it's like a typewriter. So you don't need batteries in it or anything like that. And I just think, because um, what I'm going to do is I ordered like these like wooden crates from Amazon last night as well, but they're not coming till Wednesday. And I've also ordered, I also ordered like these jars with like a, like a wooden kind of lid to it. It would be really sort of great to organ, like spend a weekend or spend a full day organizing the kitchen and um, doing some labels, which oh, I think it's gonna change my life. <laughs> I don't know why, but hoovering just makes me so, so happy. And it's one of my favorite things to do around the house. And this hoover has changed my life. If you ever want to win my heart, then just ask me to hoover and I'm all yours. <laughs> Don't tell Simon. But yeah, this is the Shark Hoover. And oh my God, it is absolutely 
incredible. And the best part of it is, is that you press this little button here. So when you like wanna hoover the stairs, which is one of my favorite things ever, it comes away. And you can just like hoover the stairs and carry it. And you know, you've got your attachments, pop that on there. It is just amazing. Like they're not cheap, but we got ours on the Amazon Prime Day sometime last year or something like that. And we must have, it must have been over half price. So definitely an investment, but it will change your life forever. And I mean, I know I'm only 27 years old, but you just got to appreciate Hoovers though, haven't you? Good afternoon, everyone. And I do apologize that you're on a bit on the wonk, um, but that we're just gonna have to roll with that. I've been trying to sort it out, but I just can't. Um, so I am currently, do apologize about this, a very bumper road. And it's currently Friday afternoon and I finished work for the weekend, which I'm so, so happy about. Um, I do apologize about this glaring sun as well, but you know, it's a lovely day. We got to appreciate that. Um, yeah, so it, tonight is, the date night that I'm going to be cooking for Simon. He's un he's feeling a bit unwell, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, we're just going to see how that goes, and if we can make it through the night, then we can make it through the night. But yeah, I think he's coming down for a bit of a cold blessing. So uh, I'm going to still do date night, but it's going to be a bit more of a chilled one, and we're just going to sit and watch a movie maybe drink a bottle of Prosecco or something like that and uh, have a nice meal. But yeah, so I'm just on my way to um, the um, tech appliance shop now. I pre-ordered a tripod actually because I realized the other day that my tripod was broke. It was like wonky, just like the camera is now. Um, but no, <laughs> um, yeah, so the tripod has broke. So I've ordered another one. So I'm gonna go pick that up and then I'm just gonna go to the supermarket quickly and pick up a few little bits that I need for today. Tonight. and then yeah um then we'll get cracking click doing a bit of tidying up at home and setting the table and prepping the meal tonight i know definitely what i'm going to make for the main course but for the starter for the dessert i think i'm just going to wing it well and then maybe find some inspiration from the um in the supermarkets Lit. Evening guys, so we have just opened the Lantern, which um, I've had in the actual wine cooler for a long time now, so um, really nice to open the uh, bottle. Mm. So good. Um, but yes, so I've decided what we're going to have for starter, main and dessert, and I'm looking forward to kind of doing something a little bit different, but it's kind of quick and easy, so there's not too much stress or anything like that, but yeah, I will show you everything before I start cooking it up, and then I'll show you the end product as well. But yeah, so I just need to start prepping the food and also setting the table as well. Simon's just in the front room, and just chilling out by the fire with Ellie and just enjoying some chill time. So, what I'm going to do for a starter is I'm going to do some asparagus on some um, nice toasted bread. I did want to get sourdough, however, they didn't have any in, unfortunately. So, I've just got the next best thing and I'm just going to grill that so it's going to be nice and toasty. Um, put some pesto with that and then some parmesan shavings and some balsamic 
glaze a drizzle of that i think that'll be super super lovely so they're going to be um like fried and cooked in butter that'll be super super nice and then for the main we're going to do a roast mushroom gnocchi um with a bit of spinach some tomatoes some artichokes and also some melted blobs of mature blue stilton cheese so yeah really really looking forward to this and then for the pudding i'm going to try and make these microwave chocolate cookies so there's no picture of them unfortunately but um it's just pretty simple it's like it takes five minutes to prep and then we're going to put these in the ramekins and then microwave them and that'll just be a nice little sweet treat um to finish off the meal So then here we have it. So we've got a nice toasted or grilled bread um, with pesto, asparagus, parmesan shavings, put um, a drizzled like the melted butter all over the dish and also balsamic vinegar. Um, so yeah, this is it. I am so looking forward to this. And so dinner is served. So this is the main course and it's gnocchi, it's roasted mushroom gnocchi with artichokes, uh, baby plum tomatoes, spinach and some blobs of melted blue cheese. And it looks so, so good. So easy as well. So I'll leave the recipes for the starter and also the main in the description box down below. Oh yeah. Natalie. Where's Simon? Natalie. <laughs> Where's Simon? Where's Simon? Hey! <laughs> Ah, good girl. Come in. Come in. 
Where's Simon? Where is he? Where is he? Go on. Ellie? Ellie? Where is he? Where's Simon? Ellie? Hi. Oh. <laughs> now the camera's on there, she's... I know. You playing up for the camera? You playing up for the camera? So we have actually decided that we're not going to have that cookie microwave in a ramekin kind of dessert thing just because we are so stuffed from our starter and our main course which was chef's kiss incredible um, but we do actually have like um, toffee popcorn, sweet like cinnamon style popcorn and also pick and mix sweeties as well so I think we're just gonna snack on those for dessert kind of thing and we're probably gonna be watching either what we're gonna watch Marvel Eternals see that's on and then mm -hmm. well if that's not on or not streaming on Disney Plus then we'll watch uh, Harry Potter mm -hmm. which Harry Potter oh. is it is it definitely Hallows that we've got now Half Blood Prince. Half Blood Prince. So we have been actually watching the Harry Potter movies from the beginning and I think we've been watching them about maybe a week and a half now or something like that but oh, it's just so nice to kind of like watch them all over again because just the books were incredible um, and Simon's actually reading the books again. You can't remember anything in the film? I can't remember anything in the film. No. So I'm always like, <gasps> what? That happens. <laughs> We've got butter kiss toffee popcorn and then butter kiss sweet popcorn with. We're not going to finish them all tonight, but we've got fruit pastels, <coughs> strawberry laces, fizzy strawberry laces, wine gums, and normal strawberry laces <laughs> yeah so we've got these popcorn boxes which we're going to pop the popcorn in so it's really nice and kind of like we're at the cinemas um and we've just walked ellie now and i've just washed my face so i'm freshly washed and i've just put some retinol to hide on from medicate and then yeah we're just gonna sit and watch a film and pig out on sweets and popcorn so we have just finished watching eternals and it was all right. It was all right. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing what the next one will have in store. Um, but yeah, it was all right. What did you think, Simon? Did you um, like it? Yeah, it was good. Not as good as the other films, but mm. other Marvels, but yeah, yeah. I mean, Richard Madden was in there, and Kit Harrington, and Harry Styles was in there as well, just at the very end. So that was very nice to see. But I really do hope you have enjoyed today's video. Please do subscribe to this channel if you haven't done already and give this video a massive thumbs up. And I am literally picking up the camera, not tomorrow, but on Sunday for a lovely cozy day at home. So that will be with you next week. And yeah, thank you so, so, so much for watching. And I will see you next week for a brand new video. See you later. Bye-bye.